So here we have sigma where n goes from 1 to infinity, n over n to the fourth power plus 1. And in this video, we'll use the direct comparison test to show that if this infinite series converges or not. I have another video that I use the integral test to show if that converges or not, so you can check that out as well. Anyways, to use the comparison test, any kind, either the direct comparison test or the limit comparison test, we have to come up with something that we know much better. And we have two situations when we are trying to use the direct comparison test. If the integral, not the integral, if the infinite series is less than or equal to a known convergent, then we know that the series right here has to converge as well. Likewise, if we can show that this series is bigger than or equal to a known divergent, this series has to diverge. So that's the idea. And now let's see how can we come with something that we know much better, and we shall be able to do that real quick as well. Let's go ahead and do that. What we know, here we have n over n to the fourth power plus 1. Let's just consider n over n to the fourth. You know the 1, pretty much. And usually when we have just polynomial divided by polynomial, let's just consider the dominating part, namely the highest power of the n. So, sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, and then we have n over n to the fourth power. This is the same as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, n over n to the fourth power. Of course, that's 1 over n to the third power. And more importantly, this is a p-series, and we know that the p is going to be 3, and that's bigger than 1. So namely, this series converges by the p-test. And now, because we come up with a convergent, I'm looking for to set up my first uh, situation right here. I want to set my series right here to be less than or equal to a non-convergent, and if I can check this inequality holds, then I can draw a conclusion. So let's go ahead and do that. This right here will be the check. So this is a series that we want to check if it, um, if it converges or not. So let me put it down. Sigma when, go, when n goes from 1 to infinity, n over n to the fourth plus 1, and we would like to know if this is smaller or equal to a non-convergent. Namely, we're going to use that one. Sigma, when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the third power. Okay? And because the sigmas are you know, going from 1 to infinity on both sides, let's just ignore the sigma and let's just compare. Uh, n over n to the fourth power plus 1 is this less than or equal to 1 over n to the third power. Well, this should be true true or not, for n greater than or equal to 1. That's all we care, right? Because n goes from 1 to infinity. And now, because I said that, we get to cross-multiply, and especially n is positive anyways, so we don't need to switch the inequality symbol. So let's go ahead and do that without any worry. n times n to the third power, it's going to be n to the fourth power, and is this less than or equal to n to the fourth power plus 1? times 1, which is n to the fourth power plus 1. And this is pretty clear at the moment, but if you, um, you want to be even more clear than this, you can minus n to the fourth on both sides and say this is 0 less than or equal to 1. But you could have stopped right here anyways. But we can only do that when the powers are exactly the same, n to the fourth, n to the fourth, and we get to cancel them out. And sometimes you just have to be careful. If you have n to the 5 right here, and you have n to the fourth right here, then you have to really be careful with that situation. But then this is clearly true. We know, of course, 0 is less than we could 1. So the good thing is that we get to draw a conclusion then. We can say this also converge by the direct comparison test. And I'm going to find a place to write the conclusion. I will just say, or I'll just write it down right here. If, hopefully you guys don't mind. I would say this also converges by direct comparison test. So I will abbreviate that by DCT. And I also say with the non convergent that we have right over there. So it's the sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the third power. And this right here, it's pretty much my response. That's the final conclusion. And that's it.